Yes. Would you leave him alone, please? Oh, you, you know, it's a mail order oh. for the Howard Finkel School of Broadcasting. Yeah, I didn't know he had a school of broadcasting. Listen, there's a bonus. That's what you sound like I'm after you graduate. Here they come. Take a look at the, some of the varmints. Uh-huh, there's a good look at Henry Godwin. He is a tough individual, ladies and gentlemen. And making quite a reputation for himself here in the World Wrestling Federation. And uh, quite an accomplished look wrestler, I might add. Take a look at them, Henry. Those hogs look better than these people, don't they? Would you please be kind? What? Why not make that one of your New Year's resolutions? you got to be kidding me. Henry Godwin against John Paul. Henry, by the way, one of the 30 participants who will compete in the WWF Royal Rumble matchup itself. Henry, uh, surely accustomed to being around the uh, livestock, will probably be right at home there at the Royal Rumble. He seems to be kind of itching and scratching. What do you what do you think there? Itching and scratching? Well, I mean, scratching himself when he came out, is rubbing it up against the ring post there. Itching to get into the Rumble. Paul uh, coming off the ropes. He may, have, he may have fleas. John Paul? No. Henry Godwin. What do, you think, what, what do you think we could get him for the fleas? I beg your pardon? Well, I, well how about I think the, how about the British Arkin Bulldogs? <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, okay. That would be good. Uh -huh. The British Bulldog, obviously uh, another participant in the Royal Rumble matchup. Who will win the over-the-top rope Royal Rumble? It might be this man, Henry Godwin, who's really taking it to John Paul. And uh, Henry Godwin, I wouldn't suggest, by the way, it would be fleas if it might be, uh, what do they call them in Arkansas, chiggers? Is that they call them chiggers? Well, I think there's such a thing. Well, hanging around the hogs, then no telling what you're going to get. Uh, by the way, speaking of the of hogs, what? this is the year of the hog, or the year of the pig or something like that, isn't it? Uh, if you're Chinese, although which Henry Godwin is obviously not Chinese. It's the year 4,693, I believe. Uh-oh. Oh, really done your homework, hadn't you, McMahon? On uh, on Tigger's stone and Paul down to the canvas. You need to take a little trip down to Bitters, Arkansas. Why is that? Well, just get some first-hand knowledge of that. So you wouldn't believe how small Bitters, Arkansas is. I know Morgan Corner, Arkansas. Uh, that was the uh, the home of the former WWF great Haystacks Calhoun. Well, that's here years ago. Morgan's Corner is a thriving metropolis compared to Bitters. Wait a minute, look at this. He's a uh, uh, Henry Godwin caught in the bush. Bitters, Arkansas is so small. Oh, oh, ooh, their art museum is a painted turtle. That's small. Yeah. They bought their fire engine from Waterpick. Oh, Henry Godwin. Waterpick. Oh, and all there the, it is. See that? I saw it. That was the, what does he call it? The, the slop drop. Slop drop? Yeah. Henry Godwin victorious with what he calls the, the slop drop. And, uh, Make it me. Oh, look at her. Woo, she not only has pigtails, she points. Your winner. Get a mouthful of slop, too. God. Henry Godwin victorious. How dare you? Wait a minute. He's calling her. She's getting up.